Good evening. Hey, good evening. How is everyone? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, Mariela Jiménez. Welcome, Jessica Esmeralda. We have welcome, one. teacher. Hey, welcome. Eddie Lorena. Welcome. Jensi Alexandra. Welcome. Who else we have? Mauricio, Luz Garcia, Jessica Franco, Roxana Guadalupe, Angelique Rodriguez. We have Gabriela Abigail. Jonathan, welcome. Fatima Araujo. How are you guys? How are you this Friday? Happy because it's Friday? It's fine. Thank you. Yes, it's fine the day. Good. You have plans for your weekend? Uh, no. No it, plans by the moment. It's a work. It's working. Okay, so tomorrow you're going to work. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sometimes people improvise, right? The plans. You improvise. They say, okay, let's go to the movie theater to watch a movie or to the park or to the beach. Probably, right? We don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. Remember yesterday we were with the simple present, but with the WH questions. Mm -hmm. We also had some conversation, right? We practiced, we did the exercise here. Today, we are going to continue with some adjectives. And let's see. So it says here that we are going to see some adjectives, but about the position. What is the position of the adjectives? And we know that the adjectives, they describe, describe the subject. So what is the characteristic? What is your opinion about the subject? But the structure we're going to say, study specifically is the verb be plus the adjective. An adjective plus noun. So they can have two different positions. And we have some examples of adjectives. For example, boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, difficult stressful. So all of these ones can describe a job. They can describe the activity that we do at work. For example, Ben's, Ben's job. What do you think? Uh, or how, what is your opinion about Ben's job? Look at him. He's a waiter. How could you describe? I work. I work is stressful. It's a stressful. Okay. His work is stressful. Or we can also say that Ben has a stressful work or a job, right? So we have also adjectives. Boring. What is boring? Como duro. Aburrido? Boring? Mm -hmm. Boring. So it's a description, right? Of something. Boring job, could we'll say. So we can describe also. Easy. What's easy? Facile. Facile. Very good. Mm -hmm. Dangerous. Peligroso. Peligroso. Excellent. Exciting. Como ex ex excitante. O... Uh -huh. Emocionante. 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 Uh -huh. Something that you like to do. You enjoy mm -hmm. it, right? So that's emocionante. Mm -hmm. Difficult. Mm -hmm. Difficult. Excellent. So we have the contrary, then easy, right? Stressful. Estresante. Estresante. So we know that jobs, they have different manners to describe them, depending on the manner how you feel with that, the job that you develop. Uh, teacher, uh, I have a question. Uh, yes. ¿Qué dijo que era boring? Boring, aburrido. Pero aburrido. En, en el caso de la descripción, no aburrido de que la persona se sienta Pero aburrida. Sí. Porque ese ya es otro tipo de... Ajá, uh -huh. correcto. Este describe, esta es la opinión de lo uh -huh. que me resulta a mí. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo Gracias. me parece a mí que es algo? Ajá, aburrido, interesante, me parece fácil, peligroso, emocionante, difícil, estresante. Entonces, la opinión que yo tengo acerca de algo o de alguien también. <coughs> Their opinions. Okay, let's go ahead then. We have other examples here. So we have here more adjectives. This list, but also others. For example, interesting. What's interesting? Interesting. Very good. Hard. Hard is a synonym of difficult. Duro, difficult. That can be hard. 
simple. 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 Simple, fácil. sencillo, ajá, fácil. So it can be similar than easy, yes. Exhausting. I'm exhausto. Nice. Hey, good evening. Welcome. Exhausto, agotador. Thank you. Welcome. So that's agotador. Right. We are with adjectives to describe. Entertaining. Hey, teacher. Hey, tell me. Entretenido. Uh, Ajá. Yes. Tell me, René. Uh, sí, como no estoy en casa, voy a estar creyente. Ah, ok. So try Pero to... No me siento todo. Ok. Eh, trate de participar. Mientras le sea posible, trate de participar. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Thank you, Thank you. Ok, very good. Thank you. Ok, so we have also entertaining, demanding. What is demanding? Como demandante. ¿verdad? Ah, demandante, exigente. Como que, ajá, es que requiere estar ahí, ¿verdad? Exactamente. So it's, ajá, ajá, correct. Like, exigente. So it's like, ok, every detail you have to be there is exigente, demandante. If you say, my job is demanding. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so we have different jobs here. For example, an actor's job is exciting. That can be an opinion that we can have, but maybe it's not exciting. Another person can have a different opinion about that. Mm -hmm. So we have two possibilities to describe this job. An actor's job is exciting, or an actor has an exciting job. If you observe here, you are describing that the job of an actor is el trabajo de un actor. Este caso de acá de actors, actor, apostrophe es, no significa que sea plural, sino que recordemos que este apostrofe es unido al nombre, lo hace un nombre posesivo. Es como el dueño de. Él es el dueño de ese trabajo, ¿verdad? De él es el trabajo. Entonces, el trabajo de un actor es emocionante. O un actor tiene un trabajo emocionante. Y estamos diciendo lo mismo. Mismo mensaje. In two different forms to say it. Another example would be about a soccer player. A Ahí soccer player. Pongámosle simple. Ah, ok. <ríe> a soccer player. That's true. Simple. <ríe> <laughs> boring. Or boring. You could say that it's boring. Simple. No, I don't like it. You don't like it? I don't like I don't football like either. It. For me, that's an easy job. Easy no, job, no. right? <laughs> but maybe a soccer player could say, no, this is very difficult, right? Because they have to practice a lot, right? So for them, they have to do a lot of exercise to maintain the body, right? In good shape the diets that they have. So that could be a soccer player's job is entertaining or a soccer player has an entertaining job. You see, it's entertaining. So we have two manners to express it. Entertainer. Entertaining. Entertaining. Uh -huh. Entertaining. Okay, we are going to repeat them. Marielos, the first one, please. The first example, an actor's job is exciting. An actor's job, an actor's job is exercising. Exciting, exciting. Exciting. Very good. Repeat it, please. An actor's job is exciting. An actor's job is exciting. Very good job. Nice. Edith Lorena, continue. Is the other option? An actor has an exciting job. Good. Has. 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 An actor has. An actor has an exciting job. Excellent. Thank you. René, continue. René, are you there? Are you going to participate? I thought player the job is internet. Ah, thank you, Jessica. Okay, a soccer player's job is entertaining. Repeat it, please. It's entertaining. 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 That's good. Okay, repeat it, please. Complete sentence. A soccer player's job is entertaining. Jessica? Jessica? Perdón. A soccer player. Soccer, soccer. A soccer player. A soccer player. 
player's job. Player job is is entertaining. Entertaining. Very good. Thank you. Miguel, continue. Yes. Yes. Let's repeat uh, this one, please. A soccer player has an entertaining job. A soccer, a soccer player has an entertaining job. Very good job. An and entertaining job. Job. Very good. Nice. Okay. Look at that here. We have articles. Do you remember the articles? A and N. What do we indicate with the articles A and N? Do you remember? Un y una, creo, sí. Uh, the two forms can be un y una. Cualquiera de las dos significa es un an. y una. Ajá, uno, una. An. Una. Solo que la diferencia es que cuando utilizamos A es porque la siguiente palabra empieza o suena con una consonante. That's the difference. Pero si utilizamos el artículo AN es porque la siguiente palabra empieza con una vocal o la, esa letra suena como una vocal. En el caso del de adjetivo exciting, empieza con una vocal, la vocal E. So it's exciting. Entonces, acá me va a cambiar. An exciting job. ¿Qué era exciting, teacher? Emocionante. Emocionante. Uh -huh. right. Hola, buenas. Good evening. Buenas. Welcome, María Luz. So we have an actor has an exciting job. No puede ir a exciting job. Porque si no, no cumpliríamos la regla, ya que el adjetivo exciting empieza con una vocal. This case, too, because we have an adjective that is entertaining. En el primero, no hay ningún cambio porque no utiliza a. Acá sí, cuando utiliza has. An entertaining job. So it's with a. Now, let's continue. We have more examples. We got more examples here to check. Let's erase this. Okay, in this one, as we know, we have other form of professions and occupations. So we have the case of uh, she's a chef, he's a writer, she's a manager, she's a scientist, he's a pilot, he's a photographer, She's an engineer, he's a doctor. And we have other adjectives here. Awesome, what is awesome? Have you heard what's awesome? Asombroso. So you can also describe, right? A job to say, ah, you have an awesome job or your job is awesome. To give a description or opinion about it. Fantastic. Similar than Spanish, fantastic. Important. We can also have an important job. Now, another example here will be a scientist. It will be this one. A scientist's job is interesting. Just that we are going to include the apostrophe S because we're talking about a possessive form. A scientist's job is interesting. But what is the other form? We can also say a scientist has an interesting job. Como observamos, hay varios adjetivos que empiezan con la, una vocal. Entonces, al cambio, utilizarlo. A scientist has an interesting job. Incorrect to say a scientist has a interesting job. It's an interesting job. And interesting and exciting and entertaining. So we have this one. Now, you give me more examples here. Let's um, see. Uh -huh. Give me another example. You choose one ser, of these. Uh -huh. Puede ser teacher when... Teacher, when una una... Sorry, sorry. Una pregunta. Eh, entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia de ocupar el A y A? Ya me confundí en eso. Ah, okay. When you use A, It's like this. Cuando utilizamos a es porque la siguiente palabra empieza con una consonante. For example, when you say a teacher, the article a 
because the next word starts with consonant. En este caso, la palabra teacher empieza con consonante. Por eso acá no agregó una N. No voy a decir an teacher, ¿verdad? Or an pilot, an photographer. No, porque empieza acá con una consonante. Ahora, si la forma de eh, el adjetivo o un nombre que yo utilice, este va a empezar con una vocal o va a sonar como una Por ejemplo, vocal. ingeniero podría sí. ser, ¿verdad? Exactly, that is correct. It could be an engineer. An engineer. Mm -hmm. What else? An artist. An artist. An, an actor. An actor, excellent. An actor, an actress. An actress. An actress. Right? An actress. Right? All of these ones. Pueden ir antes del nombre, pero también puede ser antes del de adjetivo. Siempre y cuando la siguiente palabra empiece con una vocal o suene como una vocal. Porque recordemos que también mencionábamos que depende del sonido. Por ejemplo, en el caso de a university. En este caso no lleva la N. ¿Por qué? ¿Recuerdan por qué? Porque empieza por vocal. Empieza con vocal, pero la regla dice que el artículo an se debe utilizar cuando la siguiente palabra empieza con vocal, pero aquí no se cumple. ¿Por qué? Porque este universo, se escucha que empieza con, con... como universidad. Ah. Ah. Pues como, no es un sujeto. Eh, oh. Sí es un sujeto, ah, sí. solo que el sonido. Se escucha como you. Ah, exactly. Suena como la consonante Y. Ah. That's why we don't say like university, right? No suena como vocal en sí, la U en esta palabra, porque hay otras palabras en las que sí. Por ejemplo, umbrella. Ahí sí, pero es por regla de que se pronuncia diferente. Ahora acá en la palabra university no decimos a universe, a an university, decimos a university. Es por el sonido más que todo. En el caso de a, la siguiente eh, palabra, y en la, la primera letra de esa palabra debe de sonar como una consonante. En el caso de la T, esa suena como. Also you can say a tomato, a lawyer. A doctor, a chef, a writer. Aquí no va a writer, ¿verdad? Porque esas empiezan con vocal y su sonido, eh, perdón, son una consonante y su sonido no es de una vocal, sino siempre sigue siendo de una consonante. O sea, a doctor, in the case of engineer, y tenemos un ejemplo de engineer que mencionábamos también acá, pilot, a photographer, they are consonant sounds, son sonidos de consonantes. So we need to, to check oh, that right. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Teacher. Yes. Tell me. ¿Le escucho? Eh, podría ser otra oración. Sí, podría ser otra oración entonces formada. An engine, engineer. Uh -huh. uh, engineer. An engineer. ¿verdad? An engineer. Has a, uh -huh. has a hard job. Has, has. Um, a hard, hard ah, job. very good. A hard job. Excellent. That is correct. What is the adjective that you are using? What is the adjective? El adjetivo es hard. Hard, exactly. You can substitute using difficult. So they are the same description that you're using. Has a hard job. So what will be the other possibility? An engineer mm -hmm. has a hard job. What is the other possi uh, possibility? Utilizando el posesivo, like here. Uh, 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 Ajá, an engineers. Ajá, an engineers. Uh -huh. Like this, right? Pero uh -huh. no es plural. So, Recordemos que ese no indica plural, sino un, un posesivo, el dueño de algo. Ajá, uh -huh. an engineers. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is missing there? ¿Qué le falta ahí? An engineers, what? Job. 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 Ajá, excelente. An engineer's job hard. is hard. Is hard. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's correct. So we have two manners to describe it. We can use the verb to be plus 
the adjective or we can use also the verb have or has. Then we use the article, a or an, the adjective, and job. It's two manners, but it is exactly the same message. El mensaje es el mismo. There mm -hmm. is no difference in both, but two manners to describe it. Questions? No, no questions? No questions. All right. No. We have a video. We are going to watch it. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn... No problem with the video? No? No problem. You can teacher. listen? Okay. Yeah. Excellent. No problem, teacher. Thank you. Placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A or an, plus profession, plus apostrophe, plus job, plus verb to be, plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence, we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case, A, then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe S, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, a or an, plus profession, plus has, plus article, a or an, plus adjective, plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A. Then we will have the profession, firefighter. After that, we add the verb has. Next, the article A, then we will add the adjective, and finally we need to add the noun, which in this case is job. Now I would like to give you some adjectives which may describe different jobs. And then I would like for you to express your opinion about different jobs that we have learned so far. Let me read them for you. Boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. So 
using the adjectives that I just gave you, I would like for you to describe different jobs. And I would like for you to express your ideas in different ways using B plus adjectives and adjective plus noun. For example, a lawyer's job is stressful. A lawyer has a stressful job. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, as you saw there, the formulas, right? That we have two manners that you can express using the adjectives. The placement of adjectives here. Gen C, do you have a question? Gen C? Yes, tell me. Okay. Thank you. Ajá, ahí le, le, le estaba eh, comentando a ella que ya le avise también a, a técnico para que a ver qué nos, nos puede ayudar. Igual está bien. Está bien. Que vuelva, Muchas gracias. Que trate de intentar de nuevo. Thank you. Vale, le voy a decir. Bueno, gracias. Thank you, Jensi. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have the placement of adjectives. So what is the position of the adjectives? We have B plus adjective. A firefighter's job is dangerous. So we have here the subject. The subject, you are using it with a possessive noun. So you have the possession of the subject, the verb be, and then the adjective to describe it. Now, another form, another manner you have is the adjective plus noun. A firefighter has a dangerous job. So here we have a, that is the article, dangerous, right? We have here a, no, an, right? No, an, dangerous, because dangerous start with the letter D, is a consonant. Same case here, a doctor's job is stressful. In another manner will be, a doctor has a stressful job. You see, a stressful, it starts with a consonant. Y su sonido sigue siendo de consonante. So we, we don't say S, say S. It's a consonant. A stressful job. So we have the formula. Article A or N, depending on the noun, plus profession, apostrophe S, plus job, plus verb to be, plus the age. It's the same case here, right? The examples that we have. A firefighter's job is dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful. Now, here we have Thank the you, same uh, manner. Sure. Hello? Thank you. Afri? Yo solo agrego la S al, a la profesión. Por ejemplo, en this one. Doctor, Apostrophe doctor. S. Uh -huh. Apostrophe S es cuando queremos hacerlo como un nombre posesivo, que queremos decir el trabajo de un cantante, por ejemplo. Porque nos referimos a la posesión, que es algo es de él. Ya lo refiere como un nombre posesivo. Mm, ya. Yeah. So it's no plural. It's no plural. Ah, y cuando, si se pone sin, sin la S. Ah, en ese caso vamos a utilizar acá el verbo have. Siempre describiéndolo, siempre describiendo de, eh, que tiene un trabajo estresante, como acá que menciona a doctor's job is stressful. Acá en doctor's job tengo el nombre posesivo porque lleva doctor y agregado al nombre de la profesión lleva apóstrofe es. Entonces eso ya me lo hace a mí un nombre posesivo, como el dueño de algo. Y ese job es la posesión. El empleo o el trabajo de un doctor es estresante. Pero también hay otra manera de decir el mismo mensaje. A doctor has a stressful job. Un doctor tiene un trabajo estresante. Mismo mensaje. Como describirlo. Como Estamos describirlo describiéndolo. 
Exacto. Ajá, ajá. Ajá. Y el sí, otro pero... es como que está asegurando, o sea, posicionando algo. Ajá, siempre ya. siempre lo, lo estamos describiendo, pero utilizando un posesivo. Ajá, ya. Uh -huh. Ya sea con el verbo have o con un, un nombre posesivo, siempre estamos describiéndolo porque lleva un adjetivo. So okay. they have descriptions. Mm -hmm. sí, All right. Voy a abandonar un ratito por motivos que se me fue el audio, fíjese. Ah, ok. Ok, that's ok. Intente de nuevo. Sí, porque estaba fallando, ¿verdad? Por las lluvias. Angélica, you're present. Welcome back. <laughs> Hola. Hey, good to see you again. Nice. Very sí, good that you're bien. connected. Very good. Thank you. Okay, now let's go ahead with this one. It says grammar focus. We had the examples here, the previous one, but also we have here another exercise. We're going to repeat these sentences. It says, say each sentence a different way. In number one, a musician's job is interesting. In another manner, you can also say, a musician has an interesting job. Let's see another case. Let's continue, Angelica. Hola. Can you listen? Hola, hola. ¿Te escucha? ¿Te escucha bien? <clears throat> Angélica? She has problems, maybe. Marielos? Marielos? No, Can you please read number one? <clears throat> number one. Yes, uh, number two, sorry. Number two. Uh -huh. an, athlete? An, an athlete? An athlete? Uh -huh. okay. Job. An athlete? Job is exercising. Exciting. Exciting. Very good. Okay. What will be the other manner to describe it? Using the verb have, but in third person, right? So use has. An athlete has. Aha. Uh -huh. An athlete has. Uh, an e a job. exciting job. Aha. Uh -huh. Our ang. And, and uh, right, because exciting it starts with the power. An exciting job. Okay. An athlete has an exciting job. All right. That's good. Gabriela. Okay. Very good job. Nice. Number three. Gabriela, Abigail. A lawyer's, a lawyer's, job. A lawyer's, a lawyer's job. job is ex stressful. Stressful. Very good. Okay. Transform. Now I use has. A lawyer, a lawyer, a, a lawyer, a lawyer has uh -huh. a stressful job. Very good job, nice, great. Okay, let's continue. Ibis, number four. Okay, a security guard has a boring job. Very good. Okay, what will be the other form with has? Uh, a security a security word a security word uh, is a a security word uh, uh -huh. job here is word, uh -huh. a security word uh, word uh -huh. uh, job job uh -huh. a boring is boring mm -hmm. is boring, it's boring. Ajá, that's good. Sí, aquí, aquí nos lo da diferente. Aquí nos lo da ya con has. Y lo transformamos con As. the verb be, right? Repeat it, please. A security words. A security word. Job. Job is boring. Is boring. Very good. That's nice. Great. Edith, continue. Number five. A photographer. A photographer. Has. Ajá. A difficulty. A difficult job. job. Very a good. Job. Very good. Now with the birth to be. Uh, photo, a photographer job. Photographer's job. Photographer job. Photographer's job. Possessive. 
A photographer's job. Ajá. Uh, difficult. Is. Is, is difficult. 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 Good. <laughs> Repeat it, please. Repeat it. A uh, photographer's job. As, uh, <laughs> a photographer's. A photographer's job. job is a difficult. Is difficult. difficult. Is difficult. <laughs> Después de is, ya no voy a llevarla. Ah. Okay. Solo hacer is difficult. That's good. Thank you. René, continue. Number six. A police office. A police officer. Officer has a dangerous, dangerous? The dangerous job. Dangerous job. Dangerous job. Dangerous. Dangerous job. Yo. Good. Okay. What is the other manner? You need to use the verb to be. Leave. Mm, a police. A police. A police. Office. Officers. Office. Now I use possessive. Officers. Uh, officers. Job. Job. Is. Is. Dangerous. Dangerous. Eh, quisiera preguntarle algo porque es que como vengo llegando yes. y pues ahí me, ya me estoy actualizando. Eh, eh, la, la oración de número 6, la que estás diciéndome ahorita, police officers, as, eh, ¿qué lo vamos a cambiar? Por ejemplo, ahí está en... en, en... With the possessive, the form of the possessive action. Tiene el ah, verbo de posesión. De a police officer has. Un la, oficial de policía no, formara... tiene. Ajá, tiene un empleo o un trabajo peligroso, pero también puedo Ajá. decir que el trabajo de un policía es peligroso. So, it's two manners, dos maneras Ajá. de decirlo, pero el mismo mensaje. Es así como acá. A firefighter's job is dangerous. Or dangerous. a firefighter has a dangerous job. Ah, okay. It's the same manner, right? Mm -hmm. The same okay, message, sure. but with different forms. Mm -hmm. So, uh -huh. well, okay. thank you. Okay, you're very welcome. So, how do you transform it to the other manner? Marielos? A police officer has a dangerous job. What will be the other manner with the verb to be? A police officer has a dangerous job. A police officer's? A police officer's? Job? Job? Is? Is a dangerous. Is dangerous. How do you say? Dangerous. Eh, peligroso. Dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Uh -huh. So we have the, the two manners, right? To express it here. Uh -huh. Two manners okay. to express that form. Dangerous. Okay, let's continue then. Mm -hmm. What about here? Remember that here we have it in the platform, right? this form. It says write each sentence a different way. Follow the example. No period at the end. Sin punto. Right? Your sentence needed. For example, in number one, it says a doctor's job is interesting. What will be the other manner? A doctor has an interesting job. What about number two? A police officer's job is dangerous. What will be the other manner? A police officer. Uh, a police officer. A police officer. Mm. Ana Beatriz. Mm. Are you present? Has. 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 A, a police officer uh -huh. has a, a dangerous job. Excellent. That's all right. Good one. A police officer yeah. has a dangerous A dangerous Job. Dangerous. 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 That's correct. Good. Okay. Recuerden mm. que aquí en la plataforma ya no va a agregarle el punto porque ya lo tiene ahí en la plataforma. Porque a veces por eso da error porque uno le agrega el punto, pero ya está en la plataforma. Entonces, a police officer has a dangerous job or a police officer's job is dangerous. We're saying exactly the same message, just that with a different structure. Sí, me he quebrado la cabeza tratando de, de, de ordenar esas frases todos y no he podido. Ajá. Hasta ahora ya entendí. Yes. Ok, now yes, right? Que hay dos maneras de, de utilizarlo. Con el mismo ah. mensaje, solo que diferente estructura. Yes. Now it's more clear. 
Ahora sí, ya está más claro. Is it more clear? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Excellent. Okay. We are going to pass the list, guys. Let me know if you okay, are teacher. present. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Teacher? Tell me. I am here. I'm looking for the list ah. right now. Pensé que se había quedado sin audio. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm here opening the list. I got this one. Why this one? Okay. Just let me check here. Nine to ten. Okay, this one. Adali set. Yes, you are present. I listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> you <Sorry>. Ana Beatriz. <laughs> present. Thank you. Angelica. Angela, Angelica had problems with the audio. Yes, okay. Carlos Arturo? Present. Thank you, Carlos. Christian Daniel? Christian Daniel? Edith Lorena? Edith Lorena? Present. Yes, I saw the Edith. Yes, thank you. Fatima Yesenia? Present, Miss. Thank you, Fatima. Gabriela Abigail. Present. Thank you, Gaby. Ibis Arely. Present. Teacher. Yes. Thank you, Jessica Franco. Present. Thank you, Jessica. Joaquín. Joaquín Jesús. Present. Thank you, Jonathan Adonai. Present, teacher. Thank you, Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank Present. you. Thank you so much. Catherine Rebecca. Present. That was Juan Antonio, right? Thank you. Catherine Rebecca. Present. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Kevin Orlando. Kevin. Lenin Monterrosa. Lenin Monterrosa. Teacher, Lenin, this is present. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Liliana Patricia. Liliana Patricia. Luz Margel. Present. Thank you, Luz. María de los Ángeles. María de los Ángeles. I saw María. Creo que tiene problemas con audio, quizás. La vi por ahí. Mauricio Alberto. Mauricio Alberto. Miguel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Olimpia Valeria. <clears throat> Olimpia Valeria. Oscar Esaú. Present teacher. Estoy teniendo problemas con el audio. Yes, right. Okay, let me verify. Yes, I have to see. Ya me parecía raro, pero yo sabía que la había visto conectada. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We have Oscar Esaú. Oscar Esaú. René Alfonso. René Alfonso. Present teacher. Thank you, René. Roxana Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Roxana. Verónica Cecilia. Verónica Cecilia. Verónica Alegría. Present teacher. Thank you. Jensi Alexandra. Present. Yes, thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica. Jessica Rivas. Jessica Rivas. <clears throat> All right. We go on. Thank you very much, guys.
Let's go ahead then with the next part of our lesson. Okay, we saw this one that is on the platform. Now we're going to go ahead here. We have another audio. This one is about reading job profiles. We're going to read and check like the reading comprehension here. Hi everyone. In this class you'll develop Everything okay? Audio and video? Yes, yes. Yes. Affirmative. Affirmative. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading. Job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Thank you. As we saw in the video there, we saw the description of the professions and the occupation of these four people. The first one, it was talking about an actress. The other one, it was about video game tester. So they play video games the complete day. Now we're going to read them. It starts job profiles. Let's see about the actress. Let's make this bigger. Here. Okay. Unless Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, they, uh, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. That is one case. Now, what is the description of her job? She has two jobs. So how do you describe Lisa Parker's job? How is her job? <laughs> Waitress at night. She... Ajá. She's a waitress. She has... Pueden ver la pantalla. Pueden ver la pantalla. Waitress. Actress. She's a waitress. She's a an actress. actress. Right? Uh -huh. So she has two jobs. Is her job difficult? Yes, right. She's tired. Yes. yes. Uh huh. That's good. Okay. I Go am on. a waitress. Are you? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so that's for, a hard job. For, uh, three years. Five years. Ah, you were in the past. Ah, uh, yes, I oh, were. Okay. 
I, I was, I was. I, I hate. I, I can imagine. I can imagine. It's very exhausting, right? It's an exhausting job and it's stressful, yeah. I imagine. Yes. Uh -huh. What about the second, the second occupation? We have video game tester. Lots of teenagers. Tell me. Sorry, who's speaking? Okay, let's see. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Oh, the majority of the occasions he wins. Oh, that's very good job. And he gets paid, imagine. He gets a salary for it. Now we have the other teacher. John no tiene Sorry? trabajo. John, uh -huh, that's not a job, right? John no that's, tiene trabajo. That is a hobby. <laughs> it's teacher. a hobby. Teacher, yes. I have a question. Uh -huh. Playing, yes. Tell now, me. We have the who has a question? Quien tiene una pregunta? Roxana. Please. Yes, tell yeah. me. Uh, what is lot of teenagers? Lots of teenagers. It, it means a lot of quantities. Muchos adolescentes. Muchos adolescentes quieren el trabajo de o el empleo de John Blue. So lots of teenagers. Muchos adolescentes. I have this work. Do you have it too? Yes, and you get paid for it? Do you get a salary yeah. for that? Oh, that's good. <laughs> but do you like it? Yes, I like, like it. Ah, uh, that's yeah. good. That is the best thing that you enjoy your job and you get money for it, imagine. So it's very good. You enjoy it. All right, let's see the other case. Now we have a dog walker. As we know that this one is another type of job. It says, Becky Pig walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. <gasps> 20 dogs. Wow, that's a big quantity of dogs. Now, the teacher. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Notice here that they have totally different professions, totally different occupations there. Now, let's check. We have a short exercise here. It says, read the article. Who says these things? Write your guesses. What do you suppose? What do you think? In number one, it says, after I win, I take a break. Who do you think it says this? John Blue. John. Ah, that's good. John Blue, right. John Blue. John Blue. Excellent. What about the number two? It says, I don't usually work in the summer. Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz, right? Because normally teachers don't work in the summer. Okay. Carlos Ruiz. Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz. What about number three? Juan Antonio? Restaurant closed. The restaurant closes late, around 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. Uh, Liz, uh, parece que se llama. No, no, no. Liz, right? Lisa. Yes. Uh -huh. Let's verify. It's the Lisa. previous one. Exactly. It's Lisa Parker. Yeah, that's good. Lisa. So Lisa she's the Parker. One. Excellent. Lisa. Lisa Parker. She's the one who says this. And number four. Veronica Alegría. Help us, please, with number four. Well, After work? In Italy. Veronica Alegría, are you present? No. Carlos Arturo? Becky, Becky, Becky. 
Ajá. Becky Pick, right? Yes. Becky Pick. Yes. That's a good one. Becky Pick. So she's the one, right? After work, my feet and arms are tired. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so they are describing it. All the occupations, all the activities that they have to do there. Some of them, maybe they are easy, they are difficult, but they have different forms, right? To develop different, different actions that we have. Okay, so let's see. Remember that the next part, it will be the midterm. Not a simple exercise, but the midterm. In the first part of the midterm, that is the exam, is about listening. So you need to listen to it and then check, right? What it says, if there are two, there are no bedroom or there are three bedroom. That depending on the audio, right? That you have. Question, guys. No question, teacher. No questions? No. Okay, let's check this one. That was like the same one, right? Similar than that, the one that you have in the platform for that exercise. After I win, I take a break. Mm -hmm. I take a break in... What is the correct one? Uh, Lisa Parker. Aha, I take a break, right? Take a break. John Blue. Here it says, after John I Blue. Aha, Blue. because this one has to do with the games. I win. Mm -hmm. All day, right? <laughs> so that's John Blue. Blue. John Blue. That's all right. Good one. Okay, now let's do something. We're going to describe the jobs. Let's describe it here. You're going to give me examples. Let's see, Jensi, Jensi Alexandra, you are going to describe a job. Um, sí. Yes, describe a job. A different job, the one that you prefer. Let me put um, the picture, for example, here. Okay, you can describe any job. Yes. Mm -hmm. In one form, for example, a doctor, a doctor's job is stressful, is exhausting. Give me an example. Okay. Engineer. An engineer's job? An engineer's job has. Uh -huh. Okay, um, in this case, if you say engineer's job, don't use have or has. Uh, you no, need to say. Uh -huh. Voy a elegir otra mejor. Okay, go ahead. Okay, say, uh, doctor, puede writer. ser a photographer. Ah, okay. A photographer. Uh, how is uh, a photographer? A photographer's job is entertaining. 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 Uh -huh. entertaining. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. A photographer's job is entertaining. Very good a job. Photographer's, job, photographer's is job entertaining. Possessive. Remember, possessive photographer's job is entertaining. That's good. Thank you. Ada, continue. A Give doctor, us another. A okay. doctor. Uh -huh. Yes, continue, continue. A doctor. A doctor has a doctor has a has no a doctor has a demand demanding ah. job. A demanding job. Very good. That's nice. Ada, continue. A pilot. A pilot. Job is a pilot's a pilot's job. A, a pilot's job uh -huh. is amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that is true. It's amazing. That's great. That's it's true. Amazing. They can travel all around the world. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Really nice job, guys. All right. Remember that we continue on Monday, all right? 
Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay, teacher. Thank you very much. Bye. Have Bye. sweet dreams. Have a beautiful Bye. weekend. Bye. Relax. Take care. See you Monday. Bye. 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 Sweet Good dreams. Night. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Take care. Goodbye, sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Thank you. The same to you. Thank you. Happy weekend. See you Monday. See you Monday. Happy weekend.